Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. If you're new here, today's video is going to be a wear test and review on the new Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Full Cover Multi-Use Concealer. So if you're interested in my thoughts, keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with complexion. I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter just to give a little additional glow to the skin. We're right on the high points. So for foundation, we're going to go in with the Lancome Tiny Doll Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. This is the new one. I already have a review up on this. I'll link it if you guys haven't seen it. Starting off with two pumps. We have our foundation on and everything. Uh, next, we're going to be going in with the concealer, the main attraction for the video, the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Concealer. I picked up two shades, 53.5 Neutral and 50 Neutral, and the Best Skin Ever Foundation, which is here. I was going to use it, but I was like, nah. I've been wearing this long comb for a while. I can do a video with like the Sephora brand if you guys want me to do that. Let me know. Um, but in the foundation, I wear 55N, which is like the perfect color for me. So, if you're someone to my skin tone, you can go between 50N and 55N. I like 55N because it just, like, meshes in with my skin. So, yes. The reason I picked up these shades, again, I wear 55N. I felt like they would be more, like, natural. If I wanted more of a highlighting color, I can go back and get another one. But they retail for $15, which is really good. And they come in 50 shades. 50 shades. Great job. So they are described as, well, the concealer is described as a full coverage liquid concealer that instantly cover, conceal, and correct all over the face with a natural finish. It has hyaluronic acid and algae extract, which is supposed to help protect the skin from pollution. It is a vegan product, which is really nice because um, a lot of people are concerned about that with Sephora collection. So that's good to know. It's supposed to be long wearing, 12 hour hydration, enhance the skin. And then it is supposed to be non-drying and doesn't look cakey. So that's good to know. Okay. So let's just go ahead and swatch the two shades that I have here. 53.5. So definitely. That looks like it would, be, it would match my skin tone. Like if I were to blend that out. And then 50 neutral. Yeah, I like 50 neutral. Hmm, I don't know what to do. I feel like if I layer them on top of each other, just gonna end up looking the same. But those are the shades, you guys. 53.5, 50 neutral. And if you want a highlight in shades, there are a plethora of shades that you can choose between. So I'm just going to go in with 50 neutral. So again, the component looks like this. It's like a chubbier component. It reminds me of the e.l.f. component, the camo concealer. Do I have it over here? No, I feel like it's in my drawer. So yeah, it reminds me of that. This is the Anastasia one, but the Anastasia one is larger. All right. So, 50 neutral. Ooh, it's creamy. <laughs> I feel like I have too much on. As always. But, yeah. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just blend out forehead and chin while we wait. Ooh, this has nice coverage, you guys. Finish is beautiful. It's definitely a true natural finish. Mm -hmm. 
You guys, look at that coverage. I like the consistency of this. It is creamy, but not overly thick. It's not too liquidy either, which is nice. For $15, the way this is going on right now, Oh no, let me just, let me wear it and not get too excited. But I think it looks really good. So that's like one layer for myself with the amount of concealer that I normally put on. I don't even think I need any more. Yeah, I don't think I need any more. This looks good. I like this color too. Um... I don't think I would go lighter for now. I have so many concealers anyway that I can just layer it with something else, which I normally do anyway. So that's fine if I really want like a bright under eye. So this is what my complexion looks like with just liquid foundation and concealer. I think it looks really nice, a natural finish. We're gonna go ahead in with some cream bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer in Dark Deep. This is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. Pretty sheer product, I'm not gonna lie. So let's just go ahead and set our under eyes. I'm gonna stick with what I've been using because I really like this powder, the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Powder. This is in the shade medium deep and I use it with a velour pad from Laura. Let's go in with the Mario bronzer. This is the Skin Perfector. So you know you have that highlight bronzer and then you can mix it together for finishing powder. We're gonna use the bronzer side with the Sony G Hinoki brush. I'm just gonna leave the Halo Glow as my highlighter, the usual, my Armani Neo Nude Blush. I love it. Alrighty. This is the shade 45. Alright, so this is what we look like with our complexion completed. Everything's set down really nicely. It doesn't look heavy or cakey. It looks really good. So hopefully this wears really well. Um, I'll probably have this on for about 12 hours today. So we'll come back and see if this has given us what we needed to give for $15 in the coverage. I'm already liking it. So we'll see how this wears. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup and I'll come back and show you what everything looks like. Alright guys, so this is my completed makeup. Again, we'll have the makeup on for about 12 hours, but just something simple. But my complexion does look really nice. I like it a lot. I didn't spray it with setting spray or anything. I never do when I'm testing out a complexion item, just so we can see exactly how the products wear. I think it looks really good. So far, so good. No creasing. Um, it doesn't look heavy. I'm liking it. I'll try to show you what this looks like in natural sunlight and I'll come back at the end of the day to tell you how it wears. Alright guys, it's the end of the night. I've had my makeup on for 13 hours and this is what everything is looking like. Y'all almost didn't get this update because I don't feel good right now. Do feel a little sick so let me just go ahead and finish up with this update so you can see how this concealer wore.
Concealer is nice. I do have a bit of settling under this eye here. Um, and then one fine line, like literally, and it looks like it's been there for a while. So I probably set it in place actually. Um, cause that's what it looks like. Cause I can see powder. Um, and I have mascara, <laughs> mascara transferred. But other than that, like this looks really smooth. It doesn't look heavy or cakey at all. This is a nice concealer. This looks really good. I'm very, I'm surprised. I like it a lot. I like the way that my skin looks with it on too. You know, sometimes you can distinguish from like where you have foundation on and where you put concealer because sometimes concealer can look a little bit heavier um, just based on the consistency. It just depends on the brand. But this looks really good. I'm very interested in seeing how this would wear as like a complexion foundation type of item because it's a multi-use so like using it as like spot concealing so that's gonna be it for today's video everything will be linked down in the description box down below if you're interested in trying anything out if you're new here hi i'm jordine i would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you like the video give it a thumbs up because it helps me out i'll see you guys in the next video bye